Question number 15 from the M1 International A-Level textbook, the new textbook, chapter review 2, on page 37, question number 15. I had a request to answer this question. Um, a particle is projected vertically upwards with a speed of 30 meters per second from a point A. The point B is h meters above A. The particle moves freely under gravity and is above B for a time 2.4 seconds. Calculate the value of h. Okay, so you have a situation where you have a something that's projected from a point A. We'll call that our origin point and it's projected upwards with a speed of 30 meters per second vertically upwards and it reaches a point B and it goes above B as well and that's let's just call it B there that's H meters okay and basically it spends 2.4 seconds above B so it's like going up spending some time above B, coming down again. Okay, so this is B. So this is the time that it, it reaches B, and this is the time, that's the time it reaches B on the way up, and that's the time it reaches B on the way down. Okay, and the difference between those two times is 2.4 seconds. So it's 2.4 seconds above the level of B. And with this information, just is, is it, we've got to find the value of h, how far b is above a. Now there's two methods we could use. One method we could use is by thinking about the halfway point. If we think about the time it takes for it to reach its highest point, which is up here somewhere where the velocity is going to be zero, speed is going to be zero at that point. Okay, um, so let's do that first. Let's find the, the how long it takes to reach this highest point. So we can use again SUVAT. Okay, so S we don't know. U is 30 and V is 0. I'm going to take up as positive, seeing as it was projected upwards. Therefore A will be minus 9.8 and T is what I want to find, the, t the time to the top of the flight. Okay, so we can use V equals U plus AT here. Alright, so we're going to say V is 0, U is 30, A is minus 9.8, and T is time for the top of the flight. So the time for it to reach the top of the flight is going to be 30 divided by 9.8. Okay, that's the time it reaches the top of the flight. So now from that we can work out what T1 and T2 is because this is going to be symmetrical. The time it took for it to go from B to the top of the flight will be the same time it took for it to reach back, uh, uh, to go back down to B from the top of the flight. So going on the way up for it to go from B to the top of the flight will be the same time as on the way down from the top of the flight down to B. Okay, so that, that this, that's kind of like splits this distance, this time into two, two equal halves. So the time one is going to be um, 30 over 9.8 minus 2.4. And we could even find time two. Either of them will help us to answer this question. 30 over 9.8 plus not 2.4, sorry, half of 2.4, which is 1.2. Because that, that's half the time. That's half the time for it to go up. And then the other half of time for it to go down. Okay, so it's minus 1.2 and plus 1.2. Okay, and those two times, okay, either of those two times will help us find the answer. So we now know we can now take from A to B. Okay, and we're going to deal with Suvat from A to B. So I know S is H, U is 30, V is we don't know, A is minus 9.8, freely under gravity. And T, I can take 30 over 9.8 minus 1.2. Let me use that one. 30 over 9.8 and a minus 1.2. That gives me 1.861. 1.861. 1.861 seconds. 
And then I can then use SUVAT. Um, we need to find S U A T S U A T S equals U T plus a half A T squared. A half A T squared. So we can say S is what we're trying to find. H U is 30. T is 1.861. Um, we're going to have a half times A. So it's a half times minus 9.8, which is minus 4.9 times 1.861 squared. So that will give us the height. Okay, we're gonna take this value and uh, what you can do is you can store it, store it as A. Okay, so we're gonna take this value, we're gonna multiply it by 30. Okay, and then we're gonna take away 4.9 times Uh, that squared and that gives you 38.862 38.862 which you can write as 38.9 meters that's one way of answering the question we could have also answered it in, a, in an alternative way which would have been as follows which I'll explain okay what we could do is another method we could use Okay, so method two, we could say, what we could, what we could do is, is we could say, okay, it's, this is A and this is B, just as before. It's gone above B and then back down again. Okay, so we know that this is time one and this is time two. And we know that time one is, um, or play, time one, Sorry, time two minus time one is 2.4. So we could say that um, time one is equal to time, or we could say time two is equal to time one plus 2.4. Okay, time two is 2.4, four seconds after time one. All right, so what I can do is I know that this is H and it was projected at 30 meters per second okay and so I know that this is a and this is B so I know that the, the displacement of the ball from the place where it was thrown a sorry this is a and this is B what I'm talking about this is a and B the displacement of the ball from um, a when it reaches B is H whether it's on the way up or the way down Okay, so let's think about on the way up. On the way up, let's look at SUVAT. We've got SUVAT, so this is A to B on the way up. Okay, so we've got SUVAT. So we have S is H and U is 30. And V, we don't know at that point. Well, speed is when it's reached, it reached B. A, of course, is minus 9.8. Again, we're taking up as positive as it was, projected upwards. And T, I'm gonna call it T1. And I also know on the way down, going from A to B, we got S is H again. U again is 30, that's how it was projected. V, we don't know what it's gonna be, but an A is minus 9.8 as, as normal, it's freely under gravity. But T here is going to be, now I could write T2, but if I want to if I write it in terms of T1, I can say it's like T1 plus 2.4. And I know that the H is the same in both of these situations. Okay, so what I can do is I can make equations using S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And I can make an equation using this and using that and equate the H's together. And I can then find the time at which it reaches B on the way up, T1. So what I can do is I can say okay, U is 30. T is T1, so it's 30 times T1, uh, minus a half times A, which is going to be minus, or so plus a half times A, which is minus 4.9, 9.8 times a half, times T squared, so that's T1 squared. And that, that height will be the same as the height given when it's on the way down. So it'll be like um, 30 times the time now. The time now is T1 plus 2.4 
plus a half times a which is minus 4.9 times t squared which is t1 plus 2.4 squared now these two okay when you equate them you can solve for t and find what the t1 is so we have 30 times t1 minus 4.9 times t1 squared equals, this will give you 30 times t1, 60 plus 12, 72, plus 72, minus 4.9 times, you square the brackets, you have t1 squared, plus, you're going to have uh, 2 times 2.4, 4.8t, plus, you're going to have 2.4 squared, 2.4 squared, 5.76 Oops, that looks like an 8 now plus 5.76 Okay, and if we simplify this we've got 30 T1 minus 4.9 T1 squared equals 30 T1 plus 72 minus 4.9 t squared minus, we've got 4.9 times 4.8 which gives us 23.52 so 23.52 t then we've got uh, plus 4.9 times 5.76 Okay, which gives us uh, 28.224, 28.224. Okay, now, when we try to simplify this, we've got 30t1 and 30t1, they will cancel if we try and bring them together. Minus 4.9t1 squared, minus 4.1t1 uh, t1 squared, that also disappears. Okay, so we're left with on this side 0 equals, we've got 72 minus 23.52. T1 plus, oh, that's a minus, sorry. That should be a minus here. My bad. It's minus because minus times plus is minus. So it should be minus 28.224. Minus so if we bring these together, you've got 23. 0.52 t1 equals 72 minus that so we got 72 minus our answer which gives you 43.776 so we can say t1 is equal to 43.776 over 23.52 so t1 equals divided by 23.52 oh, sorry about that see you have to be very careful that gives you one second do it again so we've got 43.776 divided by 23.52, which gives you 1.861, which is exactly the time we found before. 1.861 seconds, which is exactly the same time that we found in the first part of the question. Okay, that was the time we found here. That was the time, 1.861 seconds. And then we can put it back into the same equation here, okay, to find the height, okay? Once we found what the time is, that it's at B, we can then use SUVAT to find what the height of B is. Because we now know what this is, this is equal to 1.861 now. It was at 1.861, yeah. Okay, so once you've found that, you can put that back into this, into this uh, SUVAT. S equals U 
t plus a half at squared, and it will give you exactly the same answer that we found when we did it over here. Where's that gone? Over there. Um, up here, 38.9. So there's the answer to that question.